internet, and welcome to this last edition of Colonel Cast. I'm David Heal, and I'm Nick Nunley. And because this is our last episode here at Colonel Cast, what we wanted to do is just kind of jump right into a year in review and kind of uh, gloss over everything that Center Athletics accomplished this year. Uh, amongst that was a win or a share of an SAA regular season or tournament title in all of football, men's cross country, women's cross country, field hockey, women's soccer, men's basketball, men's lacrosse, and men's track and field. And of the seven fall sports championships, five were hauled in by Center College. And although we weren't having Colonel Cast in the fall, we'd like to just give a little recognition to those fall sports teams. Yeah, football went undefeated in the regular season, going 10-0. and 0. It's the first undefeated season since 1955. And they made it to the NCAA tournament on that little performance, I wasn't too. born then. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah, Stephen Fortner was the All-South region there, in, uh, there, and Devin Freeman was the SAA Defensive Player of the Year. Andrew Busby, the special teamer for the Colonels, was named for the SAA Newcomer of the Year. Congratulations to him. Uh, Andy Fry was also named the SAA Coach of the Year. That was to be expected <laughs> with an undefeated season and a conference championship. And uh, Max Mazza was the new single season record receiving yards given in at 1,153 yards. That's, a, that's like NFL pace right there. Ain't that bad. <laughs> Good fantasy stats right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, him on my team. And women's soccer, the team won the SAA championship for the third straight year. That's all three years we've been in college now. Yeah, and with three straight SAA titles, they advanced to their fourth straight NCAA tournament, advancing to the Elite Eight. That's very impressive. They defeated Wisconsin Whitewater and Puget Sound Aurora, which I thought was in Alaska, but apparently it's in Washington? We'll, we'll see, I guess. Those last two wins were on penalty kicks. And this was the deepest postseason run in women's soccer program history here at Center College. Yeah, the end of the season ranks 15th nationally, which is uh, not too shabby. No, I'd say that's <laughs> definitely in the top 25. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Combs was named second team all South Atlantic region, which is impressive. And Tori Dillard was named the SAA Defensive Player of the Year, along with Destiny Graves, who was named the SAA Newcomer of the Year. Yeah, and uh, transitioning to field hockey, the team defeated Lynchburg in overtime to advance to the Sweet 16 for their second year in a row. Yeah, field hockey's had some great success yeah. in the past couple of years. It's been really fun to watch <laughs> them do great. Aaron Mays was the second team All-American, first team All-Greats Lakes region, and the SAA Defensive Player of the Year. So what can she not do? I was about to say, that's <laughs> quite a trophy case there to fill in. Julie Gates was named to the first team, all Great Lakes region, and named the Southern Athletic Association Offensive Player of the Year. And you know, when you have the Offensive Player of the Year and the Defensive Player of the Year and Aaron Mays and Julie Gates, I mean, good things are going to happen. It's no surprise that they advanced to a Sweet 16, so congratulations there to field hockey. And Nicole DeHerd was named the second team, all Great Lakes region, along with Aaron Kiefer. So congratulations to them, too. Yeah, and Janelle Anthony was named Coach of the Year in the SAA, so a huge shout-out there to field hockey. Uh, that's a lot of impressive titles to bring in for this small school in the middle of Danville, Kentucky. <laughs> the men's cross-country team had a lot of all-region runners. Yeah, Victor Pataki, Eric Byerly, Glenn Bordelis, Josh Rieskamp, Matt McCurdy are all people who were named to their all-region team, so congratulations there. And the women's team had a ton of all-region runners as well. Yes, yeah, Sarah, Serena, Gail Buto, Ashley L. Roddy, Hannah Ellis, and Kristen Palmer were also named for the women's all-region team. Wow, that's an impressive uh, lineup there, and congratulations to Cross Country, another one of those fall sports teams that really kicked tail, I won't say the curse word, but they did a great job. For men's soccer, Jeremy Carlson was named the SAA Defensive Player of the Year, and they came in third place in the conference, not too bad. Yeah, then I know they have a lot of young talent, so they're very excited about kind of moving on towards next season. Uh, speaking of next season, volleyball is looking like it's going to have a great year, and they have a couple of great awards to put under their cap this year. Yeah, Beth Cecil was named the American Volleyball Coaches Association, honorable mention All-American, as well as the first team All-South League. Really. Yeah, that's All-American. You know, that's an impressive <laughs> title. Uh, on some light research, that seems like it's only the second volleyball player in center history to be named an All-American, so congratulations to Beth. And then a couple other awards. Josh Karsner had himself a great senior year. Yeah. Uh, Josh Karsner was definitely a game changer his entire career here at Center College playing basketball, and uh, he was named to the third team All-South region, finished the season ranked first in the country, country <laughs> in free throw percentage. And uh, Karstner ended his career at center as their leading three-point man, 
passing head coach Greg Mason. So that's setting him up in line to take over then, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Watch out, Greg. <laughs> and he led the team also in the history of free throw percentages as well. That's incredible. He's also 10th all-time scoring on the Colonel's list. And that's uh, kind of mind-blowing that we were here to witness that. And that's really a great performance by Josh and a great cap-off to his senior year here. We look forward to hopefully seeing him on the wall outside Jasmine's pretty soon. I wouldn't hold your breath for too long. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of someone who's also got a great future in center basketball, Tyler Wesley is going to be a senior next year. He, but he is going to put under his wing a defensive player of the year title in the SAA. Yeah, he's going to really roll forward with that one. He had a great season. 6'9", had a lot of blocks, a lot of steals. He's a great athlete on the field out there for basketball. So, yeah, great senior season coming up for him. In swimming and diving, we had a couple other awards as well. Daniel Wall in the mile freestyle and Sarah Hayhurst in the three-meter diving were both named All-Americans. So that's Sarah Hayhurst's second All-American. She had one in pole vault and one in diving. So uh, congratulations to her, and we're looking forward to have three more years of her. Yeah, and Sarah, make sure you go to class. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Women's lacrosse, Ellen Risinger was named the SAA Defensive Player of the Year. Women's lacrosse, they... Finished out in the semifinals of this year's SAA tournament, but had a good season overall. Absolutely. So the my, the best part about being a student athlete here at Center is. Uh, first off, being a student, you've got professors who really care about you. You've got great facilities. They challenge you. And then the best part about being an athlete is, you know, great. We win. Great programs and then great coaches who really care about you. So, uh, my favorite sports moment here at Center College was going 10-0 and winning the SAA Conference Championship. So it has been a great challenge to be a student athlete at Center, but it's also been very rewarding. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of long nights, um, a lot of doing homework on the road, but overall I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm glad I came to center and played golf here because it taught me how to be a teammate, how to be a leader, and how to be a friend. And then my favorite experience was probably my freshman year when we made it to nationals. Um, that was... It was crazy because we missed finals week, and but we got to stay in this really nice place and just play golf, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of bonding with the teammates, but it was awesome. One of the most enjoyable things, I think, about my time at Center was just getting to know the guys on the team, and we traveled together, we ate meals together, we studied together a lot of the time, and building those relationships and developing future friends that I'll have for the rest of my life is really important to me. Um, also getting to play baseball at the next level was really important because not many people get to do that. And I think my favorite memory was um, going down to Atlanta and beating Emory over spring break and them going on to be the national runner-up. That was a big moment for the Center College Baseball program and I think that will be a great recruiting tool for future guys as well as a big boost in confidence for the guys that are coming back next year. All right, so I've had a great experience as a student athlete at Center. Um, it's been challenging because center is so um, academically rigorous. Uh, it can be challenging to balance um, practice, uh, meets, and getting my coursework done. But center gives us a lot of support in doing that. Um, we, when we miss classes, uh, professors are very willing uh, to give us excused absences. And they also allow us to take exams on the road uh, with coaches proxying the exams. And so um, that makes me feel very valued as a student athlete at center. And um, just the atmosphere um, on the teams here, um, they're all very close-knit and I can speak especially for the cross-country and the track teams, uh, we're definitely like a family and I've met um, most of my best friends here on the teams and it's just been an incredible uh, four-year ride. Okay. Um, my experience as, as a student athlete here at Center has really helped me academically, I think. Um, I played a couple sports in high school and it really helped me manage my time really well. So playing a sport at center really helped me focus on keeping my time straight so I didn't just goof off all the time. Um, and it really helped me learn more about myself and how to work in a team environment. Um,
because obviously college is a little bit of a higher level than high school is, so I learned how to be competitive in a sportsmanship way, and um, I think I think it'll help me in the workforce because um, you know how to compromise and not and work as a team and rather than as an individual. Well, that'll do it here for us in our last installment of Colonel Cast. Yeah, for I'm David Heald, and I'm here with Nick Nunlin, and we gotta really thank the people who have put the time and effort in making it, the people yeah. behind the scenes, Matt Montalban, Seth Stodgel, and uh, James James Niehaus. Niehaus, who's done all the editing, and he's really made us look good. Let me tell you, uh, yeah, because he's been. <laughs> You know, he's been given a lot of footage and he's compiled it into these really cool little videos and we really appreciate you guys watching. You can check us out on HBO Go. All you have to do is send a subscription to Five Nights at Three Baby Circles out to St. Peter Florida 3377 and we'll get you those episodes immediately. Yeah, it's really been a pleasure bringing this to you all year and uh, we'll be back next year in the fall if we get our jobs back. So yeah. fingers crossed we don't get fired. <laughs> <laughs> we really enjoyed it and uh, also tune in to all of our online broadcasts of sports. You'll either hear his voice or mine or both. Uh, so Maybe both, you know, because he doesn't want to hear two angels talking about Colonel Spores. <laughs> and on that bombshell, it's time to thank you so much for watching. James, uh, we had an idea. Can we make a blooper reel for like after school's over? Just me and Nick goes to. I mean, by me and Nick, you need to be reacting to something Nick said. Don't put me in offensive comments. <laughs> we have angry parents. It's too late for that. Okay, okay here we go. Right. Hey, what? Oh, yeah, let's just restart with tennis. Fine or close to. I think you said qualified. Can you say qualified? Dude, you've been talking about this for so long, I can't, I'm not, I'm not filming until I find out. I got like burbs coming up, dude. Something this year, uh... Here, this time around, that was terrible. Oh, man. We're doing good, we're doing good. <laughs> don't put that on. Camera on? Just don't make me look like an idiot. Okay, um. Oh.